this. Oh, this thing? <laughs> wait, do it again. Do it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, do it. <you> whimsical. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're in a music video. All right, so we are here in Cannon Beach, Oregon for a little vacation, just a quick overnight trip. And to give you an idea of what this place is, uh, imagine, you know, it's not exactly, it's not as fancy as Vale or Breckenridge or Aspen or something like that, but kind of a similar vibe. A lot of kind of, you know, upper middle class white people here on vacation with their spoiled kids. And I, I gotta say, I'm here for it. I'm into it. You guys know all I ever wanted to be was an upper middle class normie. Coming to a place like this makes me feel like I'm living my dream. So we're gonna go to eat a little bit. We're gonna check out some of these overpriced bougie beach shops. We're gonna head to the big rock on the beach. That's what we're gonna do. So let's check it out. All right, it would not be a vlog if we didn't talk about coffee. Um, ideally, you know, you want to have the shot of the French press with the royalty-free music in the background. We're, we don't have time for that, so we're just going to our favorite place here in Olympia, Cutter's Point. Shout out to the good people over there. I'm starting the day with a delicious breakfast sandwich. 10 out of 10? Would you recommend to a friend? Chef's kiss. What do you rate your uh, your croissant? My what? Croissant. It's all right. It's all right. It's good. I'd like it to be warm, but she already put it in the the pocket. I think it's called a bag. She put it in the pocket this before, and then and then asked me if I wanted it warmed up. This is when I give I didn't her want kiss to and I say it's so pretty. Show everyone your weird trash ritual. See, look at this. What the fuck is this? Honey. I've failed it's you. It's so crumpled. It's, it's true. It's not folded in a manner. See, look, I have concentrated all of my crumbs on this pocket, which makes it easy to do that. So what I'll just do is I'll just kind of origami this shit. Is that uh, or origami? That's part of your culture, right? Yes, it's an it's a art that's been passed down for centuries in my family. And I'm upholding their honor by performing origami on every on everyday objects. See, you can see the folds in which I used it. However, I'm not just going to crumple it up like some people. Like a savage? I'm going to fold this very neatly as well. 20 minutes to drink this and eat a croissant. When, when she said she was a slow eater, that was not a lie. But my digestive system is on, on fleek. Oh, on fleek, oh, sorry. On fleek. Well, now we're gonna hit the road and head to Oregon. How long is it? Three hour drive? Thereabout. All right, so. We'll see you on the road. Ooh, cows! I don't know if you guys can see that from this view or whatever, but maybe that's a sign that we should shut the fuck up and give you guys some more B-roll. Oh my god, there's more cows over there! Oh, well, we are headed to Aberdeen. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry! And hopefully a fuck. We're headed to Aberdeen, better, best known as the birthplace, the home of Kurt Cobain, the birthplace right. of Nirvana. And I guess that there was like some sort of uh, like I don't know they made his his childhood home like a historical monument. Um, what, what's what's your advice to anybody who wants to go to Aberdeen and see Kurt Cobain's childhood home? Don't. And why is that? You will want to do the thing that Kurt Cobain did to himself when you go there. It's because you come from a place like Aberdeen. Like people who are who make grunge music are not happy people. What's the place in Harry Potter uh, Azkaban? Where they send you with like the Dementors that like take your soul or whatever. I don't know, honey. I don't read. Basically, Aberdeen is Azkaban. You will go there, and a Dementor on opiates will come steal your soul. So my advice: do not go to Aberdeen. Do not do visit that. Kurt Cobain's childhood home if you want to leave your soul intact. that bridge 
pray for us. Pray that a kraken doesn't come up from under the surface of the water and crush us with his tentacles. Or just this long ass bridge collapses and you see us in the news. Moderately <laughs> successful, mediocre YouTuber Finn McKenty perishes at sea. Killed in tragic bridge collapse. Hey, at least people will like you after that. True. This is when I will, I will, people think I suck now, but as soon as I tragically die, then that's when the conversation will change and I'll become a legend. So it looks like this area over here is Astoria, and that is where we are going to find our lunch. I feel like when we're on vacation, like you always want unhealthy calorie dense food. Just on vacation? Well, I was gonna say, I feel like when we're on vacation, your appetite for trash Gross. goes up like three eggs. Of course. This is normal, sweetheart. It's only you that likes weird, healthy stuff all the time. Who wants that? This is why you don't take vacations also, by the way, sweetheart. It's true, because I don't want to ruin my diet. Yeah. Or miss workouts. Yeah. Jimmy, what kind of van? This is why you take vacations, so you can get a vacation. I'm like white knuckling it right now. From all the... Like, ah, I'm going to have to eat a hamburger. Oh, this is so where annoying. they uh, filmed Goonies, right? I don't fucking know what that the hell Goonies are. Goonies. I wonder how many people take this curve too fast. Because then, animals did. Yeah, and then end up like the dead animals. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is where they filmed that Boomer movie, Goonies. If you want to make any, like, 40-year-old pop-punk fan angry, <laughs> just tell them you don't know what Goonies is. Well, well, well. I'm about to crush your dreams. Because I don't know what the fuck Goonies is. Well, it's on a hamburger, but here's our lunch. What are you gonna eat? Uh, I'm gonna go with the old standby, the uh, asado taco. Oh, that sounds nice. That's what I think. Nice. How about you? How do you say I don't know in Spanish? No, say. Me, me comprehende. No. No? No, now you just sound racist like the Ching Chong people. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry, Spanish speaking people, I tried. Shit, look what I did with my foil. Honey. We already we just discussed this. Honey. Look what I did. Oh my god. Look what I've done. I cannot believe you right now. I don't take a bite, a single bite, until you have started. Otherwise, I'll be done literally before you even start eating. We just have to take this moment I'm, to. I'm a very fast eater. We understand this, but I also have to demonstrate. See? I can even. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at me. Oh, oh, oh. I think this is about as good as we can get. Get it right, honey. Observe. His napkins. His tin foil. No, I'm a savage. My napkin and my tin foil. Are we asshole tourists? This is my vibe. No, we're asshole vloggers. Tourist check. Tennis shoes. Check. Yep. Travel pants. Check. Sunglasses. Check. Okay, I have my tennis shoes. Check. Check. Leggings. Check. check. Waist pack. Not a Form, fucking fanny pack, bro. Formerly known as fanny pack. Check. Sunglasses. Check. Damn. Well, you know, that's okay. Look at everyone else here are tourists too, so. Okay. Because you know, I feel like I'm the kind of person that's like, oh, I like literally would rather be anything but a tourist. They're trash. But we're trash. Everyone here is trash, yeah. including us. That's our. That's all of our toxic traits here. Now, if this was in Seattle, there'd be some UW student with a fucking Bluetooth speaker in his backpack blasting marshmallow. <laughs> yeah. Can't have no peace of quiet Ruining anywhere. the vibe. But what is that over cool. yonder? I thought it was a horse, but I think it's just like a sandbag or something. No, well, that is a horse. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, are there horses? <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, and there's a bench conveniently sat right here so we can pry into their property. So this app called Seek, it allows you to identify all kinds of different organisms. For example, pointed at this tree here, 
it'll tell you it says roses, elms, whatever. But I'm gonna try to identify this horse. So we're gonna zoom in on him. Cattle, that's not a cattle. That's a horse. Let's get more Pacific here. I don't know. You gotta be more Pacific with me. Uh, you when I look, when I look at that job that is cool early. What no, is a bovid? Like cow. Oh. The app thinks or is it's that like a domestic how, horse. Is there how, is it is. How, domestic is that, horse. We ooh, got we it. We got it. Or is that how blood say COVID? <laughs> That's right. I have look a hundred oh, a hundred plants alone. Then I have thirty one insects, twenty six birds, twelve mammals, ten fungi, nine mollusks, six arachnids, four amphibians, three fish. One two. is from fucking Petco. I had to cheat. <laughs> I'll explain another time. <laughs> Two animals. reptiles, reptiles, yes. And 12 other species like these anemones, moon jellies, rock crabs, sand dollars, kelp. Can you Highly tell them it. to like improve their algorithms or, you know, whatever? It'll identify five different fucking ferns here. But you point it at a goddamn deer 10 feet away from you. It's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> It's a bird. <laughs> could be a bird, could fuck? be a cow, who knows. So fix your goddamn computer vision, seek. Or else what? Or else I will quit using your free app as often. Ooh. And then I'm going to cut out this portion of the video in our in our final vlog That's if right. you don't meet our demand so that we don't give you any free publicity anymore. Exactly. Or else. This is not a threat, it's a promise. I am not Oh damn, this is nice. This is fucking nice. Your wife has impeccable taste in picking out Airbnbs, she does. huh? Good job. My beautiful wife planned this whole thing. And as you can tell, she did an amazing job. This is fucking gorgeous. I wanna live here. Jeez. Yeah, seriously. And what's that? What's that you hear? Oh yes, that is the ocean. The Pacific Ocean right there. And it even has a little fancy uh pour over pot here. Yeah, so, oh, there we go. Cute. So now we can um, get our coffee making footage because it wouldn't be a vlog without pour over coffee footage. That's right. But no Splenda, honey. Good thing we have we'll our- have some in the car. Good thing we have emergency Splenda right. in the good car. Good thing we carry a bag with a bag of Splenda with us at all times in the car. It's for occasions like this where there's no goddamn Splenda. And if you think she's kidding about that, no, we don't joke about Splenda. No, we really don't. All right, guys. Time to get settled in, huh? And take a little rest a little bit before we decide where we go to eat. And yep. we're going to go visit the Big Rock, catch it at sunset, and we'll catch you then. All right, so now we're gonna go see the big rock. And by the big rock, I mean a big rock. It's not Dwayne the Dwayne Johnson, if you're asking. It's called Haystack Rock. Haystack Rock. But we're gonna call it the, the big, big rock. rock. Jinx, you owe me ice cream. <laughs> I do this all the time. I think you owe me like 50 ice creams by now. I'm not gonna tell your viewers what you just did. No! You're Damn. gonna wanna wish that you didn't do that because <laughs> <laughs> Your attack was thwarted. <laughs> you splashed like Johnny Depp when we saw him. Amber Heard. Like, Coming for him. <laughs> Are you going to poop violence, on the bed tonight? Domestic violence is not a joke. There it is, the big rock. That's the big rock, you guys. All right, we can go home now. What do you have to say about the big rock? California is cool. But in my opinion, the Northwest is just it's on another level. In my opinion. And way less crowded. Not really cheaper. Still fucking expensive. But yep. way less crowded. Less like just weird douchiness. And I don't know. I'm grateful to be here. Washington and Oregon, two very underrated states. Very happy to be here. shoes unlike all the other people barefoot Finn's not gonna do a soul reveal what? Oh. <laughs> what? Me? yeah you're not doing the soul reveal yet 
No, I That's, can't. You can't. We can't do that for free. No. That's why we have on our hiking shoes. Honey, like I said, my shoes are indestructible. Yeah, except the next one's going to come oh, over God. the top. Oh, ah! God. store there you go like when i hear you know i just was was just talking about upper middle class normies here you go here's the birkenstock store can you zoom in on my feet honey <laughs> just no. for a joke though honey you can joke about your own feet all you want but don't joke about other people's feet that's what very offensive what's the word for feet ortho orthopedic yeah orthopedic cheating okay what about the time i zoomed in on ronnie radke's feet did you do that yes for real Yes, there's a video where you can see his feet. And so he like zooms way in on him. God. Does, so he has a, a, a entry on WikiFeet? He, he does now, <laughs> thanks to me. Yeah, submitted by Finn McKenzie. Yeah, so all you Ronnie Radke foot fans, you're welcome. This is like some video game shit, like, this would be a good like campsite for those games where you, you know, camp and then you cook, then you have little cutscenes with your party members. You might find a chest here. Maybe someone gives a quest in this little cove. Maybe, ooh, this might even be like a spot for a little mini boss, huh? Ooh, shit, oh my God, fuck. I just stepped it. <laughs> Damn. Well, anyway, uh, now that I have a wet sock, that can be my armor against whatever mini boss spawns in this area. Fuck. Okay, we're gonna make a quick pit stop on the way home. Uh, we're gonna stop at the Nike outlet here in Seaside, Oregon, which I've not been to, but it looks like it's pretty big. It looks nice. I'm optimistic because we're kind of sort of close to Nike headquarters in Portland. The cool thing about being in Oregon is that there is no sales tax as compared to Washington in our city, which has what, 9 and 9.5% sales tax, so. Boy, I'm just gonna go in there and dab. Please don't. So that everyone knows that I'm cool. No, that's the way that you tell people that you're not. Ow! Oh, sorry. See, and it's dangerous too. It's okay. It's dangerous. How many people have been taken out by a dab? <laughs> I mean, hey, someone's gotta look, like whack someone in the face, right? If you're gonna go, that's the way you wanna go, right? Like, oh, what happened to Lynn? Oh, she got dabbed. Baby, look at this. You can get some elusive Jordans, some Yeezys, some, a PS5. Look at what these people have gotten. Wow. Wow, look at these people having the audacity to have fucking Adidas shoes in front of the Nike outlet. This is called Keymaster. I thought it said, hey, loser, at first. Oh, I was like, wow, hey, loser, try your hand at this. Yeah. This game that you will never, that's exactly. rigged and you'll never win exactly. at. Wow, you're on camera. Well, you're on camera too. So right. ha ha, how so do you, you feel about that? Are you trying on more gear to piss off your uh, metal audience? Yeah, the thing is, I don't even know what this logo is, but it's a nice hoodie <laughs> for $25. But see, I'm so punk. I don't even care what the logo is. No, you're supposed to care very much about what logos are. Oh, that's right, that's right. I gotta wear the right logo or else I'm not punk, I forgot. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like my hats. I get a lot of complaints about that. A lot of people tell me I shouldn't wear baseball hats. So I don't know, I thought maybe, you know, maybe this would be the way to go. 
Boston? No, you should get the one that says Nike oh, Golf yeah, on no, it. Nice. Yeah. Make it very good. obvious and apparent. But you should wear the Nike Golf hat while you're doing something else, while you're um, playing, playing basketball. basketball. Exactly. Yep. I, yeah, I think that's. I think that's the move. All right, everybody, we are finally home. I mean, it wasn't that bad. It was like a three hour drive home or something like that. Not too bad. We are home. The cat is excited to see us. She's screaming her head off. Uh, and yeah, if you would like to see more of our hilarious vlogs, shout out to my beautiful, talented wife, Lynn7x for editing this vlog. She does a much better job than I do. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, check it out, and uh, make sure you follow her on Instagram and check out her channel as well. And we'll see you guys next time.